Good day, fellas, and welcome to the seventh episode of the Road to Completionist on Elvog. Now, it has been a little bit since my last video. Um, I had been on holidays for the past week. I was hoping to pre-record a few videos and schedule them, but I just didn't end up getting the time that I wanted to. But we are back now for our regularly scheduled yapping session. Now, to start off this video, we're going to be grinding the Burrows 3 achievement. So we need to do 750 Burrows Brothers, just the ones on the hill, so it's pretty easy, especially in my gear. I thought at the same time I would try finish the armor sets for the collection log. Um, you do need the keys and the amulets to actually green log them, but um, I want to get the all the Burrows sets, maybe... Uh, I'm sure by the time I, if I actually try to finish every single one separately, uh, I'll have enough, I'll, I'll have more than enough Burrow pieces to get one of, uh, one full set of each Burrow's brother. Be quite nice for the bank, I think. I might even make a tab for it if I can figure out a spare tab. But, um, yeah, yeah, we, we, we're just going to do the achievement for now. Um, these collection logs are quite, quite a grind just for the fact that you need the amulet, the defender and the key for each separate one. And, uh, but the money's not too bad. Done a little bit. Um, this axe and plate body is a new log that I just got. Got a hood as well. And um, yeah, I just want to finish the armor sets. But we're just going to keep doing them until we finish the achievement for now. That's about as far as I'll probably go. Alrighty, that is the darks All set done, actually. Um, quite a lot of different pieces here. Uh, and the runes are decent as well. But... We're still at 604, so about 150 more to go for the achievement specifically. Um, Darx is done. I think I've done Arams already. Yeah, Arams was the one that I've actually been trying to grind the log for. 303 KC. I only need the amulet. But I think uh, I'm going to move to Guffins. I haven't done any yet, so literally every time I get a drop, it's a collection log. So I do like that little message in the chat. We're going to go to Guffins, which is bottom right corner. So yeah, we're going to continue the achievement, and we're going to now finish the Guffins armor set. And uh, yeah, quite nice. Lots of collection logs uh, will be done, and also the achievement, so I cannot complain in the slightest. Money isn't terrible. Um, definitely bring a ring of wealth. You'd want to do these. Uh, the coins aren't crazy, but why not? I adds up a bit, get a few mil. In terms of the armor sets... Uh, you can sell them for a mil each. Uh, 750 foe. I want to say the mil is probably better than the foe. 750 is not much. Um, but I'm probably not going to sell any of these. Just keep them. Uh, you're really only doing these for the achievement for completionists or the collection logs. Yeah, we actually got Amulet of the Damned. Um, that's, I think that's the one of the hardest items to get. Yeah, actually, they're all about all the rare drops are about the same rate um, for the collection log specifically. So we search for Guffin. These are the ones that make the log take forever because you need all three of these, one in one ninety. So you're basically stuck here for uh, like five hundred something KC on drop rate. Um, I think maybe in the future they, m if there's a way to do it. They might be put as a shared item, so you only need to get them all once for each log, but... Ooh, actually. The Scuffin logs looking pretty good at the moment. Uh, I haven't done much KC, and I'm looking... It's looking pretty good. Uh, 58 KC only, and we only need the plate, the defender, and the key. Um, this log could be potentially the first one to finish if I ever go for these fully. Don't see myself coming back until I comp though, after I do the achievement, but it's still nice progress for a future. I actually go for the insane goal of finishing every single collection log on this server, um, which maybe one day, um, it will take a long time, but just uh, it's a lot of hours. But either way, um, we are getting very close to the achievement for Burrows. We only need another 50 roughly. Um, I'm just going to keep doing Guffins, I think, and some Carols. I'm just basically alternating between the two. When these ones stop spawning, I kind of just fire a few arrows and one hit the ones over there. Uh, there's a lot of junk on the floor. But yeah, our inventory is looking quite nice. Uh, there's a lot of 
very messy, but a lot of Burroughs pieces have been gained, and I've only been doing this for like, this hasn't taken long at all. Um, you certainly don't need the gear I've got. I only got 100 health, even mid tier gear, you can probably two hit them. Um, I, don't, I still don't really recommend this for any reason, unless you're just wanting to do something different or um, collection logs, basically. So I think I am going to bank because the inventory is just absolutely crazy right now. But uh, only 44 more to go. It won't take long at all. Uh, I haven't actually looked at my bank since last video. Yeah, I'm going to fix this. Um, <laughs> I can. What have I done, man? Um, at the least, I'm going to move everything over to this tab all this junk and I'm gonna try uh, where did it start messing up probably about here is where I just started putting random stuff in it's a shame isn't it anyway um I'm gonna dump all the burrows in I'm gonna fix up the bank again and we're gonna finish off the achievement all right actually we got burrows to fit as we finish the achievement that's really really good for the Guffin's log. Um, the Guffin's one's probably my closer to finish now. Just need the key, I think. Yeah, wow, 112. The uh, two out of the three items are actually quite insane. But um, I'm not expecting anything crazy from this achievement. Uh, I wonder what you actually get, but it'd be interesting. I guess it's probably chess rates, maybe? I don't know what would be Boris themed for an achievement. Uh, none of these achievements have any crazy rewards. There will be new stuff added in the future to make it a bit more uh, exciting. But, um, let's have a look. Yeah, PVM cost. It's oh, a bit of cash as well. I think it was like 10 mil. Bad on that one. Great boss as well. May as well do that while we're recording. But yeah, um,. So I think I'm going to probably chip away at some more God Wars. Um, can I look at this while I'm fighting? I think I can. General Galador. Actually finish that one. I forgot I finished that. I think I might have all the logs done. Yeah, they're actually all done. Um, do need a thousand KC, but I still need to do them. Uh, it doesn't really matter which ones I do in what order now. Uh, I might try to get the KC up a bit, build up a bit of collection. Um, not really, it's just a bit of foe and a bit of money, it's not really too much to it. Um, but yeah, just gonna keep chipping away, get as much progress as we can done. Um, just wanna be always trying to do stuff that will uh, contribute to the grind and uh, God Wars Sundrum will be one of the most AFK things I get to do. Mole being the other one. What did we get? Some boat crystals, rune long swords, bit of money. Boat crystals are nice, they usually do sell. I might need to I need to quickly check the boat shop actually. Uh, so I usually use the Blood Fury, but I would like to get the Best in Slot Range Amulet. And what I can actually buy is the Anguish Ornament Kits with Boats. So if I start, if I actually get enough money, um, probably not my priority at the moment, but I might start buying Boats off other people eventually just to get this. Uh, you can get the Torture, the Anguish, and the Tormented. Uh, and the Occult Ornaments. And that is how you get the best in slot amulets for each respective style. Get an amulet. Get a Zenite, turn it into an Anguish, and then use the ornament kit with your boats from it. Then you got to chuck it at a 30% chance, so there's a good chance you probably need about a thousand boats per amulet, plus a lot of other stuff. So yeah, not cheap, but it would be cool to get the best in sort of amulet, actually. A quick PSA for people that are, um, are grinding a lot of the same boss. You can use the Runelite feature, uh, you're probably used to it if you've played old school, where you can um, highlight certain drops and unhighlight uh, the junk ones you don't want to loot. So if I'm 
That is actually oh, terrible money. Uh, so I actually do highlight those ones, but I'm probably not going to loot them, honestly. I'll probably unhighlight them soon. I've got like a few hundred K in the bank just for a fun little collection. Anyway, I'm not going to yap. The point is, um, the, what you can do is you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard. All the drops will appear. And you'll see uh, a plus and minus symbol on all the drops. If you hit the minus one, they won't show up at all on the floor, like text-wise. Um, and that way you can filter all the junk, basically. Um, so yeah. If you want them to show up, you just press the plus. So press the plus on that. It'll show up. And if you don't want them, just hit the minus. And they'll all disappear. It's really good for long grinds um, at certain bosses, such as God Wars. Uh, so you can obviously highlight the armadil pieces and anything else you actually want to loot from here and then you can unhighlight the jump drops just to clean up the screen a little bit so like mine runes can't be bothered hit that minus and they won't appear on the ground just declose your screen quite a lot you can turn off the ground item feature fully as well if you wish ah. it's just in case people didn't know about this one it's actually a really nice feature for long grinds there we go, first drop of the session, Armadillion chestplate, let's go. Um, I think I'm wanting to stay till 300, uh, thing is, a thousand God Wars KC, let's be real guys, it's pretty boring. Um, so I think chipping away at it is the best way to do it. Uh, it's kind of AFK, I think, what, there's like an AFK, um, this was a sort of an issue in the past, I think what was happening was people were AFKing it bit too much um, so basically what happens is every few minutes uh, you lose a bit of aggression you just have to move for one tile I believe to fix that one up but um, yeah it's all good uh, it's chill enough to be doing while watching some videos on YouTube or listening to Maxi RSPS podcast episode uh, I really like the podcast style we're doing or I'm doing on um, these type of videos I uh, just find it more fun to make. Obviously, I'm showing progress as well, but I like to just talk about random stuff at the same time. So, I kind of really like this sort of series. Probably my favorite series to date. Uh, it's such a long grind that it's perfect for stuff like this, like that style, just because um, it takes so long to get a completionist cape. Uh, it's obviously, um, I'm never going to get episodes out if I just showed the insane grinds all at once. So, it's good to chip away at it and just yap. So yeah, really, really like the series uh, we got going here. Read my favorite one to date, although I am missing the wieldy one. Uh, I would like to reboot that one as well. I just got to figure out a way to streamline it. Um, I was thinking, just depends how many videos I do a week. Um, I think before my holiday, I was doing like two a week on here, maybe three. Um, this is definitely the one I grind the most. Um, there we go, another god sword shard. But uh, yeah, I was thinking if just one, at least one video of the wieldy progress a week, and then at least one of this series a week, and um, that would mix it up quite a bit. And then if I do a third video for this uh, on this server for the week, um, then I would just do two episodes of the completion of series because this I like this one more than the wieldy one. But I was thinking, yeah. Just three, if I did three videos a week on here, I could do two on, um, yeah, two comp and one wieldy, and that would mean best of both worlds for people who like the wieldy series as well. Um, yeah, I think I probably will do that. Um, it's already mid-week for here, so uh, this video will be Wednesday for me, and I think what I'll do is I'll try to get a wieldy video out either on Friday or the weekend. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I just don't know about two two different series on the same server at once. I don't know if, how that would actually go. Um, but I'm sure it'd be fun. Can't see why not. Then maybe farm an armadillo pieces. I actually got a chest plate from a minion. I mean, it's it's extremely rare on here. Like on you know the actual version of the game, um, an armor piece from a minion like I mean twenty k or something. But I feel like on here it's probably just very rare. Um check actually drop table block it is 
yeah, 1 in 518. Uh, still rarer than the boss. I think the boss has quite good drop rates for the armor on here. Um, but yeah, 1 in 500, still an interesting drop to get. But yeah, 2... See if we can get a helm before the end of the trip, or a hilt. Um, probably at 270, so I'm going to do at least 30 more, get it to probably 300, looks clean. And that'll probably be enough God Wars content for this video, we'll mix it up and try something else. I was thinking of doing, although it's not part of the uh, comp requirements anymore because I've done the achievement, um, I want to probably just do a Jad Fire Cape exchange every video until I get the pet. So basically forever then. Um, yeah, you only need to do 10 for the comp cape. Done a lot more than 10, I can tell you that much. Uh, but I really want my Jad pet, so I might make that a daily part of the video as well. well. And there we go. We did go a bit over the 300kc I was going to. Um, remember why I was looting the feathers now? They kind of stay stacked. As you can see, I just literally got like 7k. Not really worth it at all. I just kind of like the idea of the collection and see how much we end up with. Yeah, it's only 2 mil for the 69,000. But they are worth 36 each. You know, I've got a few hundred k in the bank. It'll probably end up being a nice 50 mil or something by the time uh, we actually finish. They do stack infinitely in the same loot piles, basically. Uh, a lot of the stackables do, so you can make a bit of money from that if you can be bothered. But here's the haul we ended up with. Three Armadil chest plates. Uh, one leg. Um, Godsword Chard one. Yeah, the cash added up. Definitely wear a ring of wealth. That actually does add up quite a bit. Um, I honestly wear a ring of wealth everywhere until you get the Elvarg ring. Uh, Elvarg ring has the effect of the ring of wealth as well, but... um. And the coins do add up if you can't be bothered looting them, honestly. Uh, but yeah, 300, uh, we got a bit over 300k, so 302, 303. So yeah, not not a bad uh, chunk of progress. We were only just over 200 at the start of that session. Um, not sure what I'm actually going to do now. Actually, I do know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some alchemical Hydra. You do 100 of those. Um, that's actually useful to do because the gloves are the best in a slot or melee if you upgrade them um so the hydra is actually worth doing so the patri pa patrios pa <laughs> yeah. or, i don't know patriot pa pa paterazot i think i don't know how to pronounce that one but you do um do need the ferocious ones to go for that 50 percent chance could make it 60 with the upgrade scroll uh but yeah only thing we really want from Hydra is that um, Lance is pretty pointless at the moment, the uh, upgrade wise. But it's good that there is actually a useful item I do want from the Hydra. So we're going to do some of that. Okay, past the random dragon that spawned. I actually haven't done this yet. I had sort of half the idea for this. Uh, my idea was a dragon event, basically a uh, random dragon spawning, and. Um, I'm going to do a horde, it didn't quite work out, it was just a bit difficult to sort of work out the horde sort of situation, the dragons, but um, yeah, actually, I came off the idea, I didn't code it or anything, but um, I actually haven't done it myself yet. Uh, it is in the wieldy, basically how it works, it does spawn in a random location, some are non-wieldy, some are, um, but... Yeah, basically, I believe when anyone, it's just a random chance anytime, I'm not sure if it's just dragons or just NPCs, it might just be NPCs. Uh, it's just a chance of it spawning every time people kill an NPC, basically. It's like a really rare chance. Uh, you probably only see it once a day, if that. Um, but yeah, wilderness resource area. I'm not sure if it's a direct teleport, that is. Got my wieldy gear, I'm not really risking anything, just the blood fury, wealth, um, I guess my arrows. Um, but yeah, we're going to give it a go. I've never actually done it myself. Near the Wilderness of Resource area. Okay. Let's have a look, see exactly where it spawned. Um, hmm. Could be anywhere around here, honestly. Is that it there? No, these are just hellhounds, aren't they? There it is, the path level 2, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill this myself, oh 5k health, uh, yeah, interesting, I might actually be able to do this, 
What does it actually drop? I think it's got some pretty good drops. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, Dragon Skimmer to upgrade a Dragon Pickaxe. Dragon Warhammer. We definitely got the Dragon Fiend going. Oh, yeah, Dragon Crossbow. Dragon Manda, that'd be really sick to get. Dragon Bone Necklace. Dragon Claws. And a pet. Yeah, it's got some it's got some interesting drops. Nothing crazy, but um Yeah, we can do this. Uh it can't hit me because of these rocks. Don't tell anyone. But I am safe spotting this boss, I think. Let's have a look. Is he actually gonna hurt a lot? Melee? Does he do the dragon breath as well? I mean if he just melees me, I'll just sit here, but um yeah, we'll be back. This is going to take me a little bit to solo. I don't think anyone, someone might, people might join. Might see people join, but it is wieldy. Um, you might not be too keen on that one. But yeah, this is my first time actually doing it, so kind of exciting. It's something different. All right, we're almost there. It didn't, eh, it took a bit. I definitely could have upgraded a bit here. Gotten some wieldy gloves and boots. I wasn't sure if I could take the ones I had with me. Certain items are banned in the wieldy. Um, yeah, this will be interesting. Drops are, are pretty cool. I like the theme, definitely. Um, we could maybe add the crossbow and lance upgraded, because that's a thing now in Deep Wieldy. I was trying to do that um, on the Wieldy account and on this one, actually. Uh, you can get an upgraded version of the lance and the crossbow from the Ravenous bosses in like level 70, 80 Wilderness. Um, but yeah, could add that to here as well. It would work. Oh my god, you get a lot of drops. Uh, maybe, I assume this is definitely because I soloed it. Um, get more rolls on the drop there. That was actually quite a nice haul. Um, not bad, I imagine if we got a rare though. But yeah, as you can see, it's all dragon themed and sort of um, drops. This ammo I need for the um, Dragon Man, so if I want to use that. Uh, probably not, because I've got an Elvarg. Um, what I'd like to see in the future is the Dragon Mancer be a little bit easier to acquire because I don't know what level it sits at in terms of gear. But basically, you can get a Dragon Theme Salamander um, from either the Slayer Shop, this guy drops it, and I'm not sure if there's any other way you can actually get it. Uh, maybe we could reduce the Slayer points on that so it could be a mid game weapon for newer players. But anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap this one up here. We will start next episode off with the Hydra I did promise. Um, yeah, just getting back into the swing of things. I think next episode will be the Woody account, though. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next episode. And oh yeah, make sure to enter the giveaway. I don't think I said that at the start. As always, may as well get a good chance of getting a, yourself a nice YouTube box. All right, guys. Peace.